to obey him this is how we develop a love for Rasulullah sallallahu to obey him in whatever he has told us so if he told us grow your beards and trim your mustaches you can't love him without growing your beard and trim your mustache if you claim to love him we say your claim is problematic we can't say you don't have any love for him but your love is deficient and that external expression is simple that is the simpler part the true love which comes from the heart is far more difficult than just to stop shaving that's all growing your beard involves stop shaving not something you need to do but not do <laughs> right just stop simple and you can achieve that but when you do it after having shaven yourself for so many years and so many people tell you how nice you look how young you look and all these different things you feel nice with it then to grow your beard you start to think mm, I don't look so nice anymore I'm now looking older and all these other things that come along with it when you're able to rise above that rise above that and know that I am trying my best to follow Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so since he said grow your beards I know I need to do it that it will change me it will cause a change within me which for sure will make me a better person if I do it sincerely because people say well no you know Iman is not in your beard the longer your beard the greater your Iman no People say, you know, I know people who have big beards and they're evil people. And I know people who are clean shaven and they're very good people. So, this is a common argument, people say. It's not about the beard. But if it wasn't, if the beard had no significance, why do we think Rasulullah said, grow your beard and trim your mustache? Do we think that Prophet Muhammad involved himself in trivialities which had no meaning, which have no value, are not important? Because that's what we're saying. If we say, no, I don't need to grow my beard. So then what about what the Prophet said? You mean to say he was asking you to do something you don't need to do? You have to think about that one. He was asking us to do something which we really don't need to do. That is a serious thought. A wrong thought. It's misguidance. It's from shaitan. Whatever the Prophet ﷺ told us to do, we need to do it as much as we can. as much as we can whatever we can do of it we need to do it this is part of building our love for rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam islamic online university changing the nation through education register now and get started visit www.iou.edu.gm for more details